Hello, uh, this is uh, Mystic Rob, and I wanted to talk tonight about plant teachers, and, and what is a plant teacher? Well, I naively thought that this was just one of those sort of silly, new-agey kind of, you know, things uh, that were a term that is applied to entheogens just because, you know, they... they are used for consciousness expansion and that you can gain different perspectives and so uh, to me this idea of calling a substance uh, a plant teacher and, and, and theogens by definitions are plants uh, just to be clear an entheogen is a naturally occurring uh, uh, you know psychedelic or for maybe um, uh, you know, there are other words that can apply. Some people don't like to use the word psychedelic. Some say um, uh, mind-altering or conscious-altering. Uh, but the idea is plant teacher is personifying uh, the substance to a degree that I wasn't sure was valid. Well, I got over my naivete uh, quite a bit when I took a, a heroic dose of a certain entheogen. And I, you know, it was a six, it was over six hour experience. Uh, just because you can order these things online, and it's legal to order them uh, through the mail, uh, don't kid yourself in thinking that, you know, they are in any way uh, not powerful. And you know, I'm going to make more videos on this idea about doing your homework and and what to do with these substances and, and you know how to make yourself aware of what's going on but this video is about why they're called plant teachers uh, the experience that I had uh, was a Kundalini experience now what happened was uh, I went into this well I don't want to say panting but definitely this, this very heavy breathing and this was after I'd been in the experience for a while uh, and I was almost afraid I was going to hyperventilate but some part of my mind knew that it was okay and so as I'm doing this heavy breathing back and forth you know almost a panting um, I realized that you know I was increasing the oxygen levels of my blood by doing this and why there was this compulsion to do this, I didn't know. But this was a very unique part of the experience. And then I started to chant, Who? Who? After I got like tired of breathing so heavily. And this kind of brought my breathing back down to normal. And I just, you know, for maybe five or ten minutes, it's always hard because these substances really mess with your ability to... Uh, to comprehend time, they, they tend to stretch time. You know, you'll you'll think that you've spent 10 minutes, 10 or 15 minutes in the experience, and if you look at your watch, you'll see only five minutes had passed. So time is kind of odd, but I know for quite a while I was doing this chanting, this hoo, hoo, and then all of a sudden the compulsion to do that stopped, and I felt this energy rising up and this, this is the kundalini energy it, it comes up from the stomach and it's like a serpent and you have this sense not only that this is an energy rising up out of you but that it is part of you and so it's like an extension of yourself as much as it's like a serpent so it's this is where the experience is very difficult to describe um, so, you know, I'm not going to. Anyone who's had this experience understands it. So, you know, I didn't think anything of it. I thought it was kind of odd. And, and, and I think that I might have even documented this entire experience in, in uh, a video. Um, I've not posted it. But I don't even know if I included that part because it just seems so weird and uneventful. But I, I think I might have included the, the serpent part. But the breathing and the chanting, I didn't. You know, there was, there's a lot of weird things that happens in these experiences. Now, 
the funny thing about this is, is a, is a month or two later, I'm watching a video. And in this video, they're talking about how these students are learning Kundalini. And the method that they use to uh, excite the Kundalini energy is that they stand and pant and breathe heavily for 10, 20 minutes. Then after standing and breathing heavily for 20 minutes, they chant. What word do they chant? Who? Who? This is a, like a Maharishi who has them. And I'm sure Ma Maharishi probably got it from India. Um, and then, of course, after chanting who for so long and the energy calms down, they collapse to the floor and have the Kundalini experience. And I thought, well, this is fascinating. Um, without ever having learned this formal, uh, you know, these formal steps of uh, the Kundalini meditation and yoga, or, or whatever you want to call it, um, as taught by this method, I fell into it thanks to a plant. This plant taught it to me. Now all of a sudden I'm realizing plant teacher is not just a abstract idea. Here's a very specific set of actions that I went through and is it possible I might have had this knowledge because I read a lot of stuff and I've watched a lot of videos maybe I'd seen this a few years before but you know anyone who's worked with these substances uh, will pretty much tell you it's not like you relive something that you've read in the past or something weird like that. I mean I, that's a stretch. I think it's more likely that even in India that there were various, various, various substances that were taken and that this was more than likely uh, an event that if enough people try various substances, they will hit upon this. And one of them said, well, let's, let's try this when we're not under the influence of a plant uh, or a plant teacher. And they were able to you know, uh, attempt to induce the experience without the plant. You know, so it's a which came first situation. Um, is it possible that maybe through some form of meditation this was hit upon? You know, this is these questions really can't be answered. Uh, but given the history of the uh, of the gurus who have used these substances, I would bet money that the experience came through a plant first and then became a practice. Especially considering I learned this practice from a plant. I haven't tried it without a plant. I haven't gone through these steps to see if they could, and maybe that would be an interesting experiment to try. I doubt severely though that I would have as strong a sensation of the energy because uh, you know a lot of practices, especially Eastern practices, uh, in order to do them successfully you have to yield your ego. Uh, psychotropic substances do that very well. That's one of the first things they do. They, they just flatten your ego out and then you're a witness uh, and a partner in these experiences. So, uh, by all means, I want to let it be known that the term plant teacher is a literal term. It's not a uh, as much a metaphor. And, you know, I, I plan to continue to work with these things in the future and you know ideally uh, with the legal ones the ones that you know you can basically they, they can't arrest you for holding because there's no law against having them uh, unfortunately the really good stuff is illegal so the really good stuff that uh, actually answers questions with a voice I'll, pro I know I'll probably never be able to get to try unless I move to another country or something but, you know, there's plenty to be explored with what you can purchase online uh, and have sent to your house uh, perfectly legally. So I just wanted to explain plant teachers uh, in the hopes that anybody else who watches this and wants to know what these entheogens are about, that they're not, uh, it's not on the same level as people who just want to get high. As a matter of fact, uh, uh, psychonauts or neural knots or whatever you wish to call them, or neo shamans, uh, will engage in these experiences 
months apart. You know, there is so much processing that has to go on with them. And what I just told you was less than 10% of the experience. And the rest of it was as fascinating. So, uh, but at the same time, just as a caveat, you can have terrifying experiences with these substances. If you do not have your slate clean going in, you know, you... Well, I'm going to make some videos in the future, hopefully, uh, that will be very balanced about these experiences. And they're not for everybody. And anybody who does decide that they want to step into that world, uh, hopefully, um, the seriousness of which I present this information will clue you in um, that it's not a game. And you better have your shit together uh, if, if you're going to go into this. Well, that's basically all I want to say. Plant teachers, it's a literal term to me now. It's not just a metaphor. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you've learned something. Um, I'll be making more videos uh, about the, this and other things. Uh, so, keep watching. Peace.